This lesson is about using the Kanban board, or what Microsoft Project refers to as the task board, here evident in the view bar on the left hand side. But we're looking at the traditional waterfall breakdown, that really is the distinction by the way, between task board and the waterfall breakdown. We're looking at the Gantt chart here and you can see it looks like a waterfall. I've set the beginning date as of Monday. It is now Friday. You can see the green line depicting the beginning date. And I've turned all of these on. I've turned critical tasks on. I could turn Slack on, although there's no Slack because there are no non-critical tasks. Okay. And uh, I've also turned the baseline on. Baseline saved. Let's say this project, as it seems right now, is behind schedule. The traditional tracking would be to select a tile, I mean, sorry, to select a, a task, and then once having selected that task, <coughs> to indicate, let's say, 50% over there. But I'm not going to do that, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Kanban system. We look at the task board over here, and we have not started, next up, in progress, done. One can, of course, change these. Um, change these, these uh, headings over here, uh, you can change it to imminent or whatever you want to, and then you've got to specify what constitutes next up. Is it 10% complete, is it 20% complete, and then in progress, is it 50% complete, and then when done, clearly that would be 100% complete. So let's say remove old tiles is at next up, it's 10% complete, but remove old cupboards is in fact fully complete. So the project's not entirely running according to the schedule, but this, this Kanban board is in fact reflecting this. Okay, so let's go back to the Gantt chart and notice that it does interface with the Gantt chart. These two have become non-critical, mainly because they are, there is progress on them. Notice also that the tick on the left-hand side in the indicator column indicates that remove old cupboards is, is in fact done. Okay. whereas remove old tiles is only 10% done. If one wants to see the detail on that, one can of course go to the tracking Gantt, and the tracking Gantt would show that over here. We'll see 10%, 100%, and that would be the, the equivalent percentage of the entire project, and of course of the uh, phase itself. Back to the Kanban board, let's go and have a look at that Kanban board again, make another change. All right. Um, and once we've made that change, we will be able to see how it reflects. Back to the task board, let's say disconnect stove fridge is also mixed up at 10%. Let's go back to the Gantt chart, and that also is reflected over there at 10%. That's, of course, ahead of schedule. Remember the old methods included um, showing a progress line, reporting date as of today, so we'll display at current date, reporting date. We'll see that these are both these are behind, that is on schedule, that one um, as of the end of today slightly behind, you'll see the progress line shows that. 